So we've had quite a good intake. Um, I think we are over a million classifications. So we've had a million objects classified by our citizen scientists across over 10,000 individual people participating. So there's thousands of people and this is only in essentially the first day. We have to go through what people are seeing and check whether that actually makes sense and then if it does look reasonable we have to do some calculations to see whether that is a true object or not. What you should see is a bunch of white stars and a black background but you'll see a red dot, a blue dot and a green dot. So we have taken three images at different times and put them together. And so something that is moved in that colored image would leave a red dot, a blue dot, and a green dot. And so that range in spaces comes from a couple days to a couple weeks. So we can use that information between those points to figure out an orbit, a rate, a rough trajectory. So we have people in the next room right now calculating orbits on the things that people are seeing um, and figuring out what these things could be and then therefore where to point our telescopes now. It, there is so much happening at the same time. Everyone is working together and yet apart. And we just all know that we're all working to, you know, fulfill the greater good. The whole feel of this event is quite ecstatic. You know, it's, it's a very electric feel. We have Brian Cox popping in saying, what have you found? You know, have you found Planet Nine? The producer Paul King says, hey, are you going to find it for my show tomorrow? You know, here I thought I was building a project for a year, but apparently it's only going to happen in a couple weeks at this rate. So this is great. So we still need people to jump on to planet9search.org and uh, help us find that elusive object in space.